Today you're going to be taking apart these devices to see how the parts inside function together to make the device. Are you guys ready to take apart these appliances? Yes! yes! Hi, I'm Raji Ganguly at Sterling Middle School. Have you guys ever wondered what's inside a hairdryer or a mixer? All of these objects were invented to fulfill a need. Someone had to conceptualize, design, and create these. Sometimes these were improvements on previous objects. Other times they were entirely new. Today you're gonna to be taking apart these devices to see how the parts inside function together to make the device. Are you guys ready to take apart these appliances? Yes! Go ahead and put your goggles on and get started. As you take apart your appliances, keep track of the parts you remove. Lay them out on the poster board in a way that helps show how the parts interact. You can almost see this poster board as a work of art. You don't have to understand how each part works, but look for how the different parts interact with each other. Be sure you're careful with the tools and ask an adult for help if something won't come apart. You guys did an awesome job. So, what did you discover today? Um, I discovered that a little thing has so many different parts in it that's kind of overwhelming. I realized that there's lots of different moving parts in a mixer and there's like different small fans in it to move all the pieces at the same time. Was there anything that surprised you? Um, it surprised me that there was rope in the cords um, like keep them from touching each other. I was surprised there was a computer chip in the hairdryer. I think it like powered everything to turn on. What do you wonder now? I wonder how important is every part in a like maybe like hair dryer because like one part could be like really important but it's like really small or one part could be really big but it's not that important. Now that we've taken apart a small hair dryer, I wonder what's really in a huge hair dryer. I also wonder how it compares to a leaf blower. And finally, what was the most interesting part you found? Uh, the most interesting part was this part of the motor. I thought it was really interesting because for this, for this blender or mixer, they use such a big thing for such a little thing like that. Um, the most interesting part, I think, was this. We found this part in our like machine, and they had the same part but with a different machine. One part can be used by many things. Esta cosa fue más difícil porque porque esto fue muy difícil de quitar de esto. You guys did an awesome job. Now, put them back together. <laughs> Let us know what your favorite part of this video was in the comment section. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and a share. Also, you can follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.